one day. Luca, you must go to feed the Monster Lord. No. Do it. No. Please. Okay, fine. Who are you and what are these feelings that I'm having right now? Nobody cares. Come on, we must go to feed the Monster Lord. But first, we need to do pointless side quests, because the 2D animation was too lazy to do them. What are you even talking about? Who cares, Luca? What are you doing here? Where is Gob, Teeny and Vanilla? I don't know. Do you have a red orb? Alice told me you had it. Yeah, why? You want it? Yeah, it's mine now. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Teeny, Gob, Vanilla. I failed you. Who are you and what are you doing here? This is off limits to strangers. Hey, can you stop kidnapping men? Just go down there and stop being racist. But, they're the ones being racist. Listen, I don't care. I need my Yama Amadango for Alice. She's hungry. Wait, you want me to be civil with racists because your girlfriend is hungry? Yes. Well, that's good enough for me then. Who are you? Are you a merchant? If not, leave now. Okay. Sheesh. Keep your panties on. Wait. That hair. You're Luca, aren't you? Yeah. What do you want with me? Oh, nothing. I'm just happy to see you all grown up. Weird girl. Who are you and why have you come here? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this plot point. Oh. I don't care up to, it's none of your business. Listen, boy. My name is Granberry of the Four Heavenly Knights, and I'll kill you if you continue on acting like an edgy teenager. Listen, I honestly don't care. I just came because Alice told me to come here. Alice? How do you know her? Why isn't she here? One, a while ago. Two, she told something about unfortunately, we can only be two people per scene in this world. Don't ask why. Heck, if I know what that means. Oh, in that case, I'll take my leave. Oh, okay. See you later. Okay, Luca. First, we need a bell to cross this sea. Why? Because I said so. Now let's go find a bell in the treasure cave. Hey, do you have a bell? No. And you'll never get it from Tamamo. Tamamo? Can you take me to her? Yeah, sure. Just go straight ahead and you'll find her. Wait. You changed your mind rather quickly? This isn't the trap, isn't it? Well, yes and no. I just remembered, after this I'm going to be forgotten. So, now I don't care about resisting. Oh. Sorry about that. Goodbye. Hey. You're to Memo, right? Do you have a bell? Yes, I have a bell. What do you want it for? Honestly, I don't know. Alice is asking for it. Alice? The Monster Lord? Why doesn't she come in here herself? Wait, she's a Monster Lord? She didn't tell you? Awkward. Anyway, here's the bell. You're a Monster Lord? Wasn't it obvious? Yeah, I guess it was obvious. But you said earlier to defeat the Monster Lord. Doesn't that mean you? Look, I'll tell you when we're on the boat. We're wasting time here. So, are you going to tell me why we're going on an adventure to defeat the Monster Lord if you're already here? To answer that question, I'll answer it with a question. Why do we eat food? Are you telling me this, because you're hungry and don't want to answer my question? Guess you're smarter than you look, Luca. Huh, she's coming earlier than usual. What are you talking about? Ara Ara? If it isn't Luca boy. Wait, how do you know me? Alice talks a lot about you. Huh, what do you want with me? Oh nothing, I just came by to meet you, and I like it. See you in part 2, Luke Boy. 
Luca, we must go to Sandalia for the next plot point. Why? Because shut up Luca. Once inside, we need to go to the library. Okay, let's go then. Hello, young hero. Do you require something? Hero? Uh, I guess? I wanna take a look at your library. Do I have to ask you for a library card or something? Yes, of course, brave hero. You have permission to go to the library. But first, you must go on a pilgrimage to retrieve the three sacred orbs in Centaur. Once you do, you shall be rewarded with the Holy Sword of Illies. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, your majesty. I really hope you aren't gonna do his quest, Luca. Are you kidding? Screw that fool. He's not even paying me. So, what are we looking for? It's alright. I found the book. It's called The Four Great Animists. Are they mages or something? No. Don't worry about that. First, we need to meet Sylph who's the closest one here. What are you doing here, Granberia? I came here for revenge, you idiot. Now, where is Alice? I don't know. Probably in the library. I'm going outside. See you later, Granby. Luca, we need to go get Sylph. So, before we do, do everything you have to do before we go there. Alright. Let me look at that bulletin for a second. It says that there's a person in Port Natalia looking for help, and another one about a haunted mansion that's abandoned but somehow alive. Ghosts don't exist. I bet that's a joke. Let's go do that Port Natalia request. Okay. Excuse me, brave hero, can you help me with a personal favor? Yeah, I got nothing better to do. What do you want? Thanks. But I'd rather speak in my house. Please follow me. Okay, here's the favor. I want you to deliver my marriage proposal to Kraken, the Queen of the Southern Seas. A queen? Marriage? Shouldn't you go instead? Seems weird for a third party to do it. I know, but me and my boyfriend are very busy. But we love each other very much. Please do it. I'll give you a reward, brave hero. Alright, fine. Give me your marriage proposal. I'll be back later. Who are you and what are you doing here? Are you here to steal the blue orb? What? No, I'm here to deliver a marriage proposal. Marriage proposal? But you're so young. Children these days. What? No, it's not for me. It's for a couple that I met a while ago. So, you're telling me. You were delivering a marriage proposal to a couple whom you've never met before? Yes. We've never had a third party before. So I guess I'll let it pass. Just sign here and you can be on your way. So, how did it go? Well, we married now. So, congratulations, I guess. Where's my reward? Thanks. About that. I didn't actually had any reward for you. Isn't the experience of going through with that a reward itself? That was your reward. We're finally married, dear. Aren't you excited? Now we can be happy forever. Till the end of time. So, are you done? Yeah, I guess we can go to that haunted mansion now. Ghosts aren't real. I'll wait in Sandalia. You can go to that stupid mansion by yourself. Okay. Huh, what's going on here? Rarg. Um, okay. Do you mind if I take a look around? I'll take that as a yes. See you later, man. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in here? I mean, probably. I was looking for a bathroom, but then a blind man with a dog told me to come here. In retrospect, I should have probably thought about it more. Get out. Get out right now. Sheesh. Okay. 
But I gotta ask, I've heard this is a haunted mansion from a bulletin board. What are you doing here? That's none of your business. Just get out. Hey lady. I'm just asking because someone else will probably come here. Also, I'll tell on you if you continue on being rude. Ugh, fine. I'm working on zombies. Now get out. Zombies? Like that one I saw earlier? She was really friendly. She even gave me milk and cookies. Hey, those were my milk and cookies. How dare you eat them? Okay, I guess we're missing the point. Can you stop making zombies? People are going to get scared. And what? Do puppetry instead? That's boring. Zombies are much better. I guess. People are gonna be scared if they see a bunch of zombies walking around the house, you know. Also, zombies smell bad. Ugh, fine. If it bothers that many people, I guess I'll stop. Thank you for being so understanding. So, have you done everything you wanted to do? Yep. Yeah. Let's go find Sylph. For this next part, you will have to do it alone. Why? I thought I was already doing this alone. Stop breaking the fourth wall, Luca. Hey, are you Sylph? Yes, I am. Come with me. No. I don't even know you. What do you want? I know the fact that I don't know what I'm doing here. But I still need you to come with me. Haha. <laughs> You're a funny one. What's in it for me then? I have five bucks and I'll give you the biggest hug you'll ever see. Haha. <laughs> Sounds like a deal. You have silver, right? Yeah. So, what now? We need to go through the desert. It's so hot. Are we there yet? Yes, it won't take much longer now. We won't have to eat any scorpions, at least. Alright Luca. First, we need to gather information about him. Sounds like a plan. Hello, my love. I see you finally need my help. Love? Uh, do I know you? Were you eavesdropping in my conversation? Yes. I was going to appear in Iliusburg and Iliusport, but since this animation can only have up to two characters, it's been kind of hard. But, finally, I'm here. I can help you on your quest. What are you talking about? Have you been stalking me? Yes. But, my handsome hero, I wish to help you in your quest. Okay, fine. What do you want? You know where I can find him? Well, I don't know how about that. But if you go to the castle, you may find out more information about him. So, basically, the obvious thing that I was gonna do before. Sorry I couldn't help you more, but do not worry, my young prince, I shall support you till the ends of time. Hey, I've been told that I needed to come to you about Nim. So, you know about Nim? Um, maybe you're the one that can help me. Okay, what do you help with? As you can see, my own daughter, Sarah, was kidnapped by the fiends in the pyramid. Please, save her. This is a top secret mission, so please be careful. Once you've rescued her, I will tell you more about Nim's whereabouts. A princess. Huh. Alright. Your Majesty, I'll see what I can do. So, did you discover anything, Luca? Yeah, apparently. I gotta save a princess. So, I guess I'll do that. A princess? Ha! Huh. Meanwhile, I've discovered that there is a witch hunt village nearby. I don't know if it has anything to do with him, but it's worth checking out. Alright, thanks for the info. Well then, I'll see you later. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, going to the pyramid. I'm here to rescue someone. You're going to the pyramid to rescue someone? That sounds pretty heroic. Mind if I join you? I got stuff to do there too. I don't mind, but don't expect to share the screen time with me. Hello, do you need something? Yeah, uh, 
Did you kidnap a princess by any chance? The king is asking for her. A princess? No. We don't have anyone like that here. Maybe you were told wrong info. Ah, I see. Well, at least I asked. Goodbye then. Wait, the king? Dad is looking for me? Dad? Wait, are you Princess Sarah? Wait, you know who I am? Who told you? Oh, it was the king. He said you were kidnapped by the fiends of the pyramid. So, I'm going to rescue you? Ugh, Dad. Fine, let's go. I got what I wanted anyway. I guess you solved your little problem. Anyway, thanks for visiting me. Safe travels. Thank you for rescuing my daughter Brave Hero. Now, about me. Just hang around in the desert, shouting her name over and over and she might come. Wait. She might? So, you're saying I wasted my time for the predictable piece of information? If you don't like my information, then I'm going to force you to marry my daughter Sarah. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you a witch? Hey buddy. Calm down. What are you talking about, Boo? You're talking back and threatening me? You're a witch. I'm taking you to the boss. Huh? Hey, wait. Get off me. Ah, a new victim comes to join the herd. Welcome to your new home. Huh? What? What are you talking about? What's going on? It is exactly as what I'm saying. Welcome to your new home, Piglet. You can never leave now. Huh. Wait. Piglet? Oh. I see what's going on. Listen, lady, I'm not here for your weird fetish and trap. You need to stop doing whatever you are doing. Wait. Are you not my role-playing playmate, Ashton? Uh, no. I'm Luca. I heard strange rumors about this place. You're not Ashton. What are you doing here? That is a very good question. But your guard forced to come here thinking I was a witch. Ugh, not him again. He's my little brother. He cosplays as a robot and wants to be part of my roleplay. I'm sorry he forced you to come here. Oh, well. I thought there would be something more mysterious given the name of the village. Oh that? No, it's some kids in the village that changed the name of the village. Originally it was called Uz Villa. But nobody bothered to protest because it was a stupid name. Now, it attracts adventurers for some strange reasons. Oh. Well, thank you for the exposition, lady. I'll be going now. Have fun in your roleplay. Have you done everything you wanted to do in here? After we get in, we won't be back until after you're level 50. Yeah. I'm done. Let's go get in. Hey, are you Gnim? Are you okay? Do you need something? Luca, it's okay. That's just how she is. She just wants to fight you to see if you're worthy of her. Fight? But I don't know how to fight. Huh? You don't know? Then how were you able to get past through all those monsters? If you want to know how I was able to do that, then go buy the trilogy of Monster Girl Quest. It even won the Game of the Year award. Luca, what are you talking about? Uh, anyway, isn't there like another way to fight her? Can't I just play a game of charades with her? Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, are you ready? You, surprise? You're happy because of the weather? You're a zombie. I guess that means you're okay with me? Then, welcome to the party. So, now what? Where do we go? Well, that's up to the subscribers to decide. We've reached the end of Chapter 1. If you guys want to see Chapter 2, please like this video and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Patreon so you can support us by doing these parodies. Uh, Alice, what are you talking about?
shut up Luca. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching chapter 1 of Monster Girl Quest in 3D. If you guys want more content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe and visit my Patreon to support me on more nonsense like this. That said, this has been another parody by Ed Sartsnakes Chuck and until next time.